Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Um, back on December 29th, I made a video um, about adding custom tracks to the Xbox um, emulator, the XMU, um, so you can use the in game audio. Um, it was something different for me. I, you know, for the longest time, they said it couldn't work, but I did figure out how to get it to work. So, um, during that time, I guess I must have skipped over the encode part, um, how to convert the uh, MP3s to WMA um, that actually works from what I got from a few people was it sounds like Alvin and Chipmunks, which it does happen if you do not set it up right, um, which I'll put a link to that video somewhere. It'll probably pop up somewhere around here. Um, just follow through the steps, show you how to connect to it, and upload it. So we're basically going to pick up from the encode part and finish the rest of the video. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I do take emails. I am on Reddit. I now have a um, GBA Temps group page, which it's, um, I think it's called like Retro Talk or something like that. But I'll pop a link uh, down in the description to that too. So come on out, support your boy. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, everyone. Um, once you've opened up your free audio converter, um, you need to point to all your files or your MP3s, whatever ones you're going to use. So these are the ones I pulled out. So we'll drop them into the encoder. Next, you want to go down to the selected encoder, um, which I do have a link to this in the description as well. The default encoder settings, which it says it needs WMA2, um, Windows Media, Media Audio version 8. Um, this one supports version 9, which is compatible as well, too. I haven't had any problems, but you have to keep it with the bit rate being 128 kilobits, two channels, and the sample rate is 44 hertz, and it's 16 bit. So what you want to do is, once you have your files in the program, then you want to click this yellow button here, and you want to configure the encoder. As you can see, it says it needs version 8, but unfortunately, this one only supports version 9.2, which it does work. But then you want to come down here to the use this audio format, and you want to go down the list until you find 128 kilobits, which is here with constant bit rate. So you're going to tell it OK. And once you click that, you're going to click the start button. So it'll convert them over. Now that that's done, you can actually close this program here. Then I would say go on over to your. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to open up the Xbox emulator. As you can see, here's the music. Let's see. Say this is a test. And there's nothing in there. So what you want to do is load up your Evo X disc. Go to debug, put in the debug command, which that'll be listed at the bottom. Um, if you watch the other video, it tells you how to connect to it, and then it'll explain what do you need this uh, code here for. So you hit enter, and you can actually minimize this for right now. Then you want to open up your sound editor, and you want to connect to the Xbox, and you tell it OK. 
So once you have this open, now you need to make a soundtrack. You want to add a track, which will make this one, um, I'm going to just call it Shy Dreams. So once you have that listed, then you want to add tracks. And we'll go to the converted folder because these are the ones that I created. You're going to select them all, then you're going to hit open. It takes a few seconds. Well, just depending on how many um, songs that you uh, added in the list. Okay, now that they're added, you can actually um, disconnect. Hit the X button, go down, and then you want to go to, uh, you can actually eject the disc and you can tell it to restart. Now we can go back to music. And as you can see, it did add the Shy Dreams and it took this as a test away. So we can click that, and then we can hit play, and as you can see, the songs that we converted are in there. Mr. Vaughn, you've been coming here for four weeks. You have to tell me a thing. It's now or never. This song's all right, correct? Yes. And as you can see, it does work. It doesn't sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Bah! So it does work, and then if you want to try it in like a, let's say a game or something. So let's see, let's try so Xbox games here. Um, and then we'll go to ISOs and we'll try this one. And this is a music mixer, so it normally takes it a few seconds to load. I forgot, this is a different drive so I might have to speed this up Okay, so we can actually go to music player, we go to play, and then we have the Shy Dreams playlist, and then here's all the songs. And as you can see, it does work. So, and this is definitely a game. So, and this is on the latest um, Xbox emulator. So, if you have any uh, questions or anything, feel free to reach out. Just let me know, and I'll help you as best I can. All right, y'all, take it easy. Peace. I don't need security in the club All they wolfing on the neck, nigga I thought you was